Eric Dankwa is 12 years. In spite of all these toxic fumes and gases in Agbubloshi, he's trying to make ends meet for his family. Agbubloshi is a suburb in the Greater Accra region, where most of the electronic waste from the industrialized countries are dumped. Eric has to ignore being a child and take up responsibilities as an adult. I've been doing this job. I've been doing this job for seven years now, and I feel good any time I come here. I get money to buy anything I want, and I also give a part of it to my mother. Most of my brothers have gone home as a result of injury and sickness, and so they are afraid to come here again. Sometimes the burning copper explodes and burns our skins, so my friends hesitate in coming here. But as for me, I come here because my master is here to take care of me. This is his daily routine. Inhaling toxic fumes and gases since he turned five, which puts him at a higher risk and reducing his lifespan. nickname is Dadia Please, literally meaning Metal Please. This is because he dares to go to the most dangerous places and search for metal scraps, which is also referred to as Dirty Gold. They are sometimes assaulted by their adult counterparts. Madam Fono. A lot of my friends go to steal somebody's ghost, and when they come, they beat all of us mercilessly. Sometimes our masters intercede on our behalf by paying a token. But my friends who are drug addicts still go back and steal. So if you are unlucky and your master is not available, you have no choice but to endure the beatings once again. Children as young as five, what the adult put their hands in toxic liquid and copy blindly. Few of his friends have fallen sick as a result. Others get deep cuts, sometimes resulting in deaths. Eric's friend Kwame has been hurt many times and he shows us some of the scars on his body. If we go for the TVs, we use rocks to break the glass, which gives us cuts. So where are some of the scars? Here. What do you do when that happens? Do you take it to the hospital? I buy medicine to treat it. So you don't go to the hospital to be examined? Have you had a tetanus shot before? Yes, please. Karim narrowly escaped death in this dangerous work, which he says cannot be a job for little children like Eric. In the year 2007, in the year 2007, we went to dismantle a big metal in the bush, and we started loading it into a cargo truck. I was on top of the car packing the things when I started moving backwards with the metal. I, I reach on end of the car. Not knowing, I was at the edge and realized I was falling, so I stretched to hold on to something in the truck, which gave me this car. Catch my hand. That's the reason why we stop from my from my hand. Many of these scrap dealers come from low-income earning communities in Ghana, compelling them to risk their health in their bid to improve their living conditions. Eric's reward for the hard day's job is less than a dollar. He dreams of a better life, but this might be influenced negatively 
as he continues to work at the Agbogboshi scrapyard. I want to be accountant in my future. I want to save this money to pay my school fees so that in future I'll be my accountant. It might even get worse. He may not live long enough to fulfill his dream. The metal police is ready for school. But because he's so tired most of the time, he often go to school late. His performance in school can improve if his concentration is directed only on his studies and being a child. This is the only time of the day Eric gets to act like a normal child. After school, Eric hurries home, changes into his working gear, and heads to the scrapyard. Eric's mother, Rose, has to take care of four children, but she is unemployed and single. God bears me witness. As for the money, it helps me. Sometimes he gives me some. Now I have waste pains as a result of my hawking. So sometimes I am unable to go the next day. He gives me five or ten CDs. The work they are engaged in helps us all, but the school that he is unable to concentrate on is my worry. I have tried encouraging him to go to school, but because of the money he earns there, he plays the truant and I cannot afford that kind of money. Eric, don't go. I will go. Eric, don't go. I will go. Eric is back to the Agbogoloshi scrapyard in search of money for the next day. Even in this difficult situation, the Metal Police is hopeful of the future. But as long as Eric has to earn money from the scrapyard to support his family, his dream of a better future hangs in the balance.